Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for a special edition of the stream today. We're going to be playing the Mythic Championship Qualifier on Arena today with good old trusty Grixis Control, as you can see here. This list is the list that, that I talked about at the, the last time that we played Grixis Control a couple of days ago whenever we were practicing for it. We were losing a lot of matches, but we were saving our luck for today. And this is the <laughs> the updated list that I talked about that I would like to play later on. And I tried this out some yesterday, and it felt pretty good. So this is what we're going with. Okay, what, what do you expect to face in the MCQ? Uh, what decks do you think are popular that might uh, you might see? Um, good question. And sorry, I didn't introduce you first. I was just about to do that. But anyway, this oh, is <laughs> this is a boot to the head on on Twitch. I'll have his link down in the uh, description panel. It's my friend David Jones. He's here this weekend. Um, but I think this for today probably going to be seeing a good amount of mono red, mono white, uh, Esper hero, uh, four color dread horde. Those are like the the most prominent decks. Jeskai walkers will probably be making an appearance as well and uh then besides those the other thing that's getting pretty popular these days are just the the green nissa decks mm -hmm. um just blue green get lots like of mana simic have yeah okay. simic ramp type things uh whether it's sometimes it's soul tie with command the dread horde uh sometimes it's um a bunch of mass manipulations sometimes it's not those are pretty popular all right so what, what decks are you looking to mainly go against like what are you hoping to, to face Versus uh, what decks are you hoping to just kind of sidestep? So the thing about Grixis is I feel pretty comfortable in basically all of the matches. But there's nothing that, like, I think that I win almost every time. You know, so there's nothing that I'm like, I really hope I play this deck. Okay. But I'm pretty comfortable against a lot of things. I don't, decks I don't want to face, I really don't want to face uh, Nexus of Fate, which is starting to get a little bit more popular. I, I don't really want to face Simic Nexus of Fate, which... Honestly, could be a kind of a good choice for this weekend, and so I'm a little bit worried about that. But, uh, like, Mono White, I guess. I think I, I would like to face Mono White with having uh, the third Cry of the Carnarium and third Ritual of Soot in the graveyard, or, sorry, in the sideboard. I wouldn't really mind Mono Red, uh, but we can still definitely lose to Experimental Frenzies against Mono Red, so it's not like we're, we're going to win all of those. Um, the Command the Dreadhorde decks, I don't love facing, but... You know, we can win. It's basically the kind of thing of, like, Grixis has just tons and tons of, like, 50, we're just kind of 50% against the field kind of thing. Okay. Um, so it's just hopefully our cards line up kind gotcha. of thing, really All more right. than just any specific matchups. Um, I didn't, now I didn't play any Ashiok <laughs> for the, for the Dreadhorde matchup. I have an Unmoored Ego. That's my plan to try to take out Dreadhorde. Because I think I can handle, like, the Planeswalkers and the, the Wild Growth Walkers and all that kind of stuff. Okay. The Explore Creatures and the Planeswalkers. But just the card, uh, Command the Dread Horde, can just be, like, a, a 5 for 1, a 6 for 1. You know, just ridiculous value like that. So I got the Unmoored Egos for that. Um, all right, so let's let's go ahead and try. So we're okay. so how the, for, the format of this thing is... As you can tell here, so we're going to play until we either win eight matches or we lose two matches. Whenever we lose two matches, we're eliminated. So this may be a short stream if we just lose <laughs> lose our first two. That could be it. Um, but, you know, we'll but play. that's not what we're aiming to do. Right. So basically, we'll see how many wins we get. Um, the top 128 players in this event will qualify for day two tomorrow. So hopefully we do that. It's basically going to be everybody that's eight and two will qualify, or like that gets eight wins will qualify, and then some people, like a good amount of people, to get seven wins will probably qualify also. Um, so we'll just kind of see. Uh, so you know, we'll just kind of just you know try it out, see how see how many wins we All can right. get. Like I said, eight eight zero. Let's go. All right. Thanks, Larry. This one. All oh, right. I, ca I caught up on Game of Thrones last night. Oh, yeah, that's and, true. Uh, yeah, we finished that. Yeah, we, we did. We finished that. Yep. Um, played a little bit more Zelda. Heck yeah. Thanks, Necro. But now it's all about the magic. Yep. Let's see how we do here. Oh, good hand. Basically just good hand because I, I just saw the four the four lands. Uh, good mana with shock lands and everything. Um, I didn't even really see these other cards. Oh, wow. Check out that background. Oh, yeah. This is a... Yeah, this is a. I guess this is like their tournament background. Oh, Thought Seize turn two? We golden. Yeah. So, opponent mulligan to six. Look at that curve. 
Yeah, this is a this is a cool background. It's like we're in an in an arena. They got the little arena logo here. That is chat. Yeah. <laughs> chat in the stands. Yeah. Ooh. Um, All right, so I think we gotta take this thief of sanity. Yeah, it's, it's 100 percent thief. Um. Ooh, that's. So as Kanta would be good, but I'm just gonna be curving out campaign and then these. Would I rather can curve out as Kanta than those? No. Um, no. No, I don't think so. But I no. think it could be pretty powerful later on. It can be. That's true. I mean, are you looking? So for I guess they're. Are you really looking for anything else? So they're gonna veto the campaign. I'm basically what I'm looking for is a fifth land to be able to make sure we play right. Dragon God. Okay. Hey, you know what helps that? Search for Kanta. It does. <laughs> It does. I could be wrong getting rid of that. I mean, they do have a Mortify, too, so I guess... Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, they have the Mortify that would kill it. Yeah. Good point. Oh, wow, they're down to three cards. This is great. Yes, yeah, so we'll have... Oh, look, they're down to two cards. I assume they're going to discard probably their unknown there. So I can mortify. go I can go Kefnet here, because Kefnet, even, like, if they Mortify Kefnet, it doesn't, like, actually die. So like that's that, that kind of gives you damage versus getting the card out of their hand. Whatever right, you think is more valuable. Right, but I am gonna go the Ravager. So like that's normally I would kind of go this, but mm -hmm. I'm specifically going Ravager here because I I do want even though the Ravager is just gonna die to the Mortify, it's basically leaves them with just the Lillian hand. Right, we're we're basically count uh, casting Mind Rot right now because oh they had this spot. Oh, well, that's that fine. They still get rid of one or the other. Because we have the Dragon God next turn, I want them to have less resources in hand to make it harder to cast Liliana. So even if they top deck land... Oh, nice. Oh, we're just in full control here, aren't we? Yep. If this if this resolves... It's going to resolve. It does. Oh, yeah. We, we are in the so, driver's seat. So there goes Liliana. They have to get rid of Liliana, right? Like, they're just never going to be able to play it. No, nope, but they still oh. have the land, I guess. Conceivable! Still, okay. You still have gas. Yep, there goes Liliana. Okay. My intellect is without limit. So this this game's not over anymore. It would have would have been over if we got to untap with. You really need the dispersal. Dispersal, like so, basically, Teferi is like something I'm worried about I mean, that they but can you talk to. This information campaign that can do some a little bit of card draw for you. Somewhat of an engine. Uh, what do you expect to, to hit with the Enter the Goddess? Maybe? Probably just a. Uh, maybe like another thief or something. I guess. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, thief, hero. So I'm glad they did not draw a Teferi, and I found a Nicol Bolas. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, it's all working. Will bend to my will. What are they doing over there? <laughs> is that like Chemister's Insight? Probably. But I can't. But they're a hero deck. They can't. Are they a hero they deck though? Yeah. I think so. Ah, Tyrant Scorn. I think so. Yeah, like this is a hero deck. They just have Contempt, but that's why they have all these multicolor cards and they I, have I Thief of Sanity main deck. I like their only creature and they were more of a control deck. No. Every deck that plays Thief plays hero. Okay. There's not a deck that... Like, Esper doesn't just play Thief and not play hero. Let your weak minds crumble. <laughs> They're talking about your uh, always reveal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was playing that Nicol Bolas anyway. No, my Enter the God Eternals. Uh, I mean, we still have Kefnet. Oh, uh, yeah. Bolus, so. Oh, yeah, they're very dead. Sure, opponent. You got it. Fine, I'll reveal. Because, <laughs> yeah, they like sacking these lands. They're, they're dead. Yeah, that was a one hell of a start. You have no weakness I cannot exploit. Yep, that's exactly what we want. You know, we want Thought Erasure into campaign. Into Nicol Bolas, into Nicol Bolas. You know, like, that's just the perfect star for us. Wow. I mean, that's a lot more If I only would have kept that Escanta forever ago. Yeah, not that it actually mattered. <laughs> I get... <laughs> this game's over. Yeah, we're going to win on a Nicol Bolas ultimate? Uh, here, just decline because I want to do this. 
I, I've actually ulted, in the first game, you the first game of the first match, we ulted Nicole Bolas. I've actually never done, never ultimated Nicole Bolas before, <laughs> but our opponent let us do it. Thanks, Casey. Right there. There we go. All right, got game number one. So Esper Hero. Um, it's kind of tough to sideboard against because we can't just like bring in all of our anti-control stuff because then a hero right. can go crazy or Thief of Sanity can beat us down. Um, so I definitely want to keep like these, like Cry of the Carnariums, for example. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. Maybe I just don't sideboard too much. All right, so Rampage. Maybe take out a Ritual Soot for a Cry. Just like switch 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I mean, what, is, what is Ritual hit that Cry doesn't? in that particular, like, shell. Because you've got the hero, the Nothing. tokens, uh, the Thief of Sanities, all 2-2s, two 1-1s. Twos, one you know, it gives you a turn earlier. Yeah, they, they could have, like, Bell Haunt, but that Ritual so doesn't hit that either. Right. Um, hmm. So basically, cards I'm thinking about taking out are, like, Moment of Craving and Grass Rampage, uh, considering going with, like, some Duresses. Mm-hmm. Uh, or that's extra contempt. I think the three cry is good sweeper wise. I'm I gonna agree. take out that other soot for the, a contempt. Yeah, I like that. Um, so that gives me four planeswalker removal spells. I'm basically just worried about Thieves Andy. Let's trim some Enter the God Eternals. Oh, good idea. Yeah, that card's pretty expensive, and we'll get a couple of duresses in. I like that. All right, let's give this a try. I need a way to cast Ego 15 times. <laughs> e Sult Sultai decks playing Ego with, like, Tamio is pretty sweet. I like Tamio can pick it back up. And recast it. Okay. Uh, Scorn gets rid of Thief and... Yep. We don't have Hero. blue mana, though, but we have Discovery. So hopefully Discovery finds us blue uh, mana. We can, we can discover a blue source. Yeah. The Thought Erasure into Thief of Sanity is always a tough one to beat. And that's what we're hoping they don't well, let's have. Let's hope they don't take the Scorn. Okay. Okay, that's a lot of... We definitely discovering. Yeah, we're digging. We're like scientists over here. Nope. Nope. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. That we could actually cast. Oh, come on. Yeah, they had they had main deck veto. Hey, there's the red source. Or uh, blue source. Last game they had main deck veto. No, I can't. I can't waste the contempt on that thing. Okay. I have to save contempt for. To fairy. I can rampage that though. Seems good. All right, they're down to three cards. Our set. Those who cannot keep an open <clears throat> you play until you either win eight matches or lose two matches. What's up, Pruger? Hey, there's that spear you're talking about. Oh, hey, there's a dress that we were talking about. <laughs> Jeez. So there's still two mana away from casting Liliana. Thinking I can hopefully find a, a discard spell before that. Discovery looking board. for Thought Erasure, Duress, or Disinformation Campaign. I mean, if nothing else, you have Dispersal. If they That's, get empty-handed. Yeah, they're not going to get empty-handed because of the end of the God Eternals. Right, Discard. Ugh. I mean, I guess I just hope they don't hit a land drop here. It's kind of too, too risky just to... Like, uh, how many cards in our yard? 13. Oh, okay, cool. 
Yeah, there's well, the land. Ah. Yeah, drawing land to land back to back. It's really rough. If I were you, this looks like a fun new toy. All right, so we can dispersal Liliana, but that doesn't really help us because no, of the end of the God Eternals. I think I'm going to keep this in Discovery. <laughs> Um, so if I keep this discovery, flip as Kanta, we're looking at four, four extra mana with as Kanta. I can't, I guess if we hit a land, maybe we can discovery. Oh, well, Angrath's Rampage is already gone. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is none of those. I mean, that Cry of the Carnarium would be good against a bunch of zombies. Oh, hey, that does a thing. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, awkward. Auto tap. Are you kidding me? All right, so get an extra two two. Oh, dang it. Okay, so let's see if we can hit something with this Kanta then. That's my fault. I, I need to look at auto tap more. That's my fault. Putrid, but effective. Oh, but Devil does it. Still have to deal with the two twos. I've gotten rid of two cries, so we have one one more cry. Did we get rid of all the rituals? Yeah. Okay. Nickel Bulls, Dragon God would be or a nice or not Nicol not Bulls, Dragon God. Man. I meant I oh, meant okay. Ravager. That's not bad. Ravager would be a good draw. Let me get to... this beat. Yeah. Well, this was unpleasant. Yeah, that worked. Doesn't die to. Well, if we block, then I'll die. I mean, after the fact, yeah. I can no longer stand by and watch. <laughs> it's always the thought about it's having the shuffle and never take responsibility. card I need. Yeah. Alright, going down to 12. Stop, done. What are you... Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. I mean, you have to, right? Not Maybe necessarily. Another four. Go to eight. We're so digging. Next turn you block. Yeah, we're no, digging pretty fast for another Crowther Canary. Alright, we gotta find the last cry. We're gonna go grab a hero back. I mean, that gets rid of Enter the God Eternals. Yeah, but it's lethal if I play that. I can't play it. I guess if I play it, yeah, if I, if I play it, I'm taking lethal. I can't stay alive. What are we just trying to hit the cry? Is that what's up? Yeah. Okay. Well, we stay alive with this. See, but now you're blind. This time. Hmm. Yep. Two, four, six. We're we're now dead to the end of the God Eternals token. I think. I don't think we can get out of this unless we. No, we're dead. Yeah, we're going to game three. Because Cry of the Carnarium doesn't kill the four four that Enter the God Eternals makes. Trust me, I have a plan. I guess I should have just blocked last turn and let them make a 4-4 <clears throat> instead of playing two hero precinct ones. Uh, well. yep. So I guess that's something the that ritual said actually kills. Uh, 
any idea about negate? No, I'm not playing negate against the little Teferi. Okay, that makes sense. Do we just run it back now that we're on the play? Technically, our end of the God Eternals can kill theirs. So the only thing I'm considering doing here is adding back in a Ritual of Soot to have another Sweeper. So they're playing Soren also. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have the Ritual sit over the other end to the God Eternals just to have another Sweeper. So that's their plan is going wide. Okay. Yeah, Duress is good, but we need to... Like, they have a ton of discard also. It's going to get to the point, just like that last game, these games just go to the point like where both players have discard <clears throat> and we're just top decking. And you just can't have... I don't think you want, like, every single discard spell you possibly can because it's just going to be a lot of top decking. Let's just top deck a uh, Thought Erasure. <clears throat> well, I already have four sweepers in the deck. The Planeswalkers are a problem, too. Or somebody said that we can't, they're not playing every ritual. Like, I'm playing every Cry of the Carnarium. Alright, we need land drops. <laughs> Alright, we have three black. That's good. So while, while I wouldn't mind another land drop here, uh, one thing that, you know, if we fl we could definitely just flood out from here and lose for just drawing too many lands. And so I'm not going to risk it by just having another land on top uh, for that scenario. We have, you know, our curve stops at five, for example, but even though we want to be able to double spell, we're going to be still drawing a good amount with, like, campaign and everything. <laughs> Thanks, I Irene. So we're looking to just curve out into Campaign, into Kefnet? Yep. I like it. And then Cry the Carnarium when we need to. What happened to our opponent? Not sure. Uh, where is the timer? Because isn't this the first time that they're trying the 30-minute timer for both sides? Yeah. Where do you see that? I don't, I don't even know if they tell you, honestly. I don't know. Oh, oh hey. There, there you go, go, 25. We're at 23. Oh, they, they just passed the turn. They <clears throat> looks like they disconnected. Oh no! Sorry, opponent. Hey, Jeff, doing good. Doing good. Good morning. Yeah, it's real unfortunate here for the opponent. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Oh, what's up, the Balding Yeti? This is a uh, boot to the head. Nice to meet you. You put a face with the name. <laughs> yeah. Well, he had two really good games. Unfortunately, our opponent disconnected here for the third game. Yeah, it's super frustrating. But the first two games were good. Does this do anything? No. Nope. What about uh, like the banners? Can you click any of the banners? Like these banners? Yeah. No. Nope. Okay. Um. White, blue, red. White, blue, red, green. The the black is over there. White, blue, red, green. The blue and the red on the right. Oh, there is the black. Yeah, yeah. I, I missed it. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, no, it's not. Broken controllers. No, our opponent's not roping. They just they they got disconnected. They, um, yeah. I don't think on turn two their play was Dis discard watery grave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's what they wanted. Yep, the online qualifier is going on right now. Oh, they're back. Hey, All right. they made it. A little far behind though. But we'll see if they can catch up. 
can stop growing lands. <clears throat> yeah, I probably should have the bolus for the avatar, huh? I don't know. We've had I've had a lot more luck like last week with like a Johnny. And so I just I just had the Johnny on here and I didn't didn't change it. I will spare you in exchange oh, wow. for eternal servitude. Okay, well, yeah, but if, if they if they just have a contempt attention. here for Nicol Bolas, like this is a you know this is certainly a game. We're not if if they get rid of Bolas, we're not that far ahead. So they could still have to spark. Hopefully not. Pass the turn. Pass the turn. Dang it. Dang it. Yeah, this is. It's definitely a game. What they exile? Oh, they exile the reborn. The hero thing before. Um, old Nicole Bolas seems good here. It does. Unfortunately, to spark exiles. So even if. <clears throat> even if we uh, get the seventh land and flip Nicol Bolas, we don't get to get, get our other Nicol Bolas back. Oh, wow. Just straight gas. Thief and Narset. Really care about. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I was going to take the uh, Narset. Dang. Because the thief we just kill. Yeah, they, they know what we're handed. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right, want to know. All right, then. Mark that on over here. They did try. They put up a fight. <laughs> That's what you did wrong, Mike. You had the wrong sleeves in the avatar. The wrong avatar. <laughs> All right, we're facing John. Just John. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Well. Okay, so. so yeah, if this what is does this hand actually be, dude? Yeah, this hand's beating an aggro deck. If we draw another black source, that is. Presumably we do. So we just gotta hope they're an aggro deck. Alright. Uh, and we draw a black mana. Okay. Oh no, they're not an aggro deck. <laughs> Still could be. Could be banned. Uh, it's definitely not an aggro deck. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll take Mortify. Yeah. Because Thought Erasure doesn't, doesn't do anything. All these cards are terrible. Take a ritual. Hey, Joy with the donation. Five dollars per win. Five bucks per win. Aw, thank you so much, nice. Joy. Thank you. They didn't take Cheers. the ritual. Ian Ray with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Ian Ray. Um, get rid of that. We'll take this. <clears throat> so, unfortunately... Even if we draw a Nicol Bolas Dragon God, we're still two black sources away from casting it. Okay, there's a thing. Oh, so there are... Yay, Ritual of Soot! <laughs> oh, but I can't cast it. Oh no, bad Ritual of Soot! <laughs> what? What was that card? Elite Guild Mage. What Elite, do? Elite Guard Mage. Oh, guard Mage. And it draws a card, gains three life. So they're, they're, huh. they're a hero deck also. Not a control deck. Hey, right, Vale, going good. Oh no, two black sources gone. I kept the Drown Catacomb on top there because it's you know it's a blank card for Thief of Sandy to hit. So we need to draw a land. Any land will do. No, because any land we could have cast then to the God Eternals. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're still not doing terribly well, but not out of it yet. Thanks, right, Vale. Yeah, if you just hit a land. <laughs> Let's 
try to see if we can draw a uh, dra dra Dragon Skull Summit, I believe is what we want. Okay, I'll take that one. Through feud or feast, your blood is mine. I abhor my need for Well, that was good. <laughs> huh. So this is the pro this is a problem. I honestly don't really want to mill my so I don't want to mill myself for, but I don't want to mill them for either. Because of the whole Soren thing? Yeah, because of the whole Soren thing. Did you hit four lands? We got three lands into the spark, not bad. <clears throat> but I don't have like a ton of win cons and they've already milled me a, a good amount. I don't really want to mill myself. Diva Sandy is likely their best card to get back. I don't know if they have I mean they I don't know if they'll have um, <clears throat> the Black White Angel. They could have that. Then milling over that oh, would Sarah be pretty for the bad. Scales. Yeah, Sarah for the scales. I demand servitude. Well, that's some synergy. Yep. So certainly expecting <clears throat> this to die to the Tyrant Scorn. Thanks, Alder, too. What do you think? Tyrant Scorn or your own card? I think Tyrant Scorn. Oh, what? Oh, so they can get it back? So that keeps me from casting my other Enter the God Eternals. Because I, I can't cast another one and make this an 8 8 and have just it just trade yeah. with one thing. <laughs> what a mess I've made. Is this? I like the opponent's deck. Why is this? Oh, it is 1080. This moment of craving looks horrendous. Yeah. So do the ritual of sets. Unless they get back the thief, and then it looks pretty decent. <laughs> I don't think they will. I think they'll just get back Elite Card Mage again. Bleh. Like, what do you even take here? Just one Teferi? Because they, they know about the two ritual sets, so ticking down to grab a thief isn't really ideal for them. Just give up the Soren for it, you think? No. No, they're just gonna take up again. <laughs> the weak feet. I'm really dead. Strong. I don't I don't have a chance in this game. But we're playing it out, but I don't have a chance. <sighs> Had to kill that thief right away. So I so definitely don't want Moment of Craving. Another hero deck? Yeah, this is just a hero deck again. Okay. They... Uh, Cry didn't seem to do really anything either. They had a bunch of three toughness creatures. Yeah. They had more three toughness creatures for sure. Want any number of duress? Yeah. How many cries and ritual sets do I actually want? At least two cries. I could play Elder Spell against them. Think so? Hmm. 
I wouldn't risk it. I don't think it's going to do that much. Uh, I like this. I think you're okay there. So considering sure putting did. an Elder yeah, Spell sure or work. another copy of Cry or Ritual... Because they're going to have Little Teferi, Soren, Big, Big Teferi at the minimum. Could have Narset, Liliana. We didn't put in Elder Spell last time, but this time we saw multiple Big Teferis. That card's a problem. I don't know. I, I wouldn't do it, but what, what do you think? Try it out. I'm going to play it over and enter the God Eternals. Okay. That I don't really want. All right, we're down a game. Not bad. Yeah, much better Hold hands. Mold six. We have good mana this time. Unfortunately, last time <laughs> we didn't have the good mana to be able to play our spells. Okay, off we go. What do we have over here? No lands. Okay. Just no lands. There's a hero. Deal with that. I'm going to take the Time Raveler because this, with just two mana, this gets to replace itself and draw a card. The others cost too much for the things that draw a card. And I'll keep the Discovery to help me dig. So, like, hero, hero dies to Tyrant Scorn. Thief mm -hmm. di would die to... The devil. Wait, they didn't have another land? Oh, no, they wow. they didn't have a land. They didn't. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that. Oh, my. I need to look for threats. There we go. Which is why Asking I ditched... you shall receive. <laughs> which, that's why I ditched the Thought Eraser. Thought Eraser. Yeah, our opponent kept a one land hand. After they mold, they mold the six, and they were on the draw, and kept the one lander that had that really good curve. Sorry about that random sign up. Thanks for the luck. You want attack first? See if they block? <laughs> you don't know. I do want to <laughs> I do want to find something for this Teferi. That's like the one card I'm a little worried about. I, mean, I wouldn't mind a discard spell. Devil. I like that surge. Provide you advantage over the, the long game here. I don't know, maybe Nicole just you know finishes this out. Yeah, I'm gonna keep both of these. Nope. Not I'm not scared of people stream sniping can happen. Oh well. I kind of like both of those. I do too. So I wouldn't mind, you know, working my way up to the seven mana, be able to flip Bolas and get back Ugin kind of thing, but we're also just beating them down, so we have... <clears throat> couple good routes here so we have we do have the seven cards in uh, we do have the seven cards in hand or sorry in in the graveyard so we get to flip as canta here and have seven mana Current record is 1-0. You, you can see on the left-hand side. We're going to game three stand. here. Run it back, or... Is there anything you want to include being on the play, or on the draw? 
Hmm. I'm going to play the extra card of the Carnarium. Hero and Thief are just cards you got to have a lot of answers for. Yeah. You have to have enough for, like, turn two Thought Razor, turn three Thief. You, you just have to be able to kill it. <laughs> Thanks, Jay Tom. All right, game three. Against John. <laughs> yep. I <laughs> love it. Not even capitalized. Ugh. Man, what a perfect hand if we Ooh. just had a, a blue black land. What a perfect hand. You can't keep it, though, right? No, no. You can't keep this. Okay, that's better. And if they just if it was just two good lands, you know, if it was just like these two lands yeah, exactly. right here, or these two lands, right? Either one, so much better. Yeah. The deck list is right there, Sass boy. Yeah. So it looks like our opponent has a tough six that they're choosing from. Bottom. They went. They went top. Lucky. I don't have removal for thief right now. <laughs> you lied. Never mind. <laughs> now we do. Oh, can you just get off this thought erasure? Okay. What we got. Soren to Fairy Ugin. But you have two Nicole Boluses, so to Spark. Either. Yeah, I'm not taking to Spark. Uh, it's Soren to Fairy Ugin, and I think to Fairy is the. I'd go with the Fairy. Yeah. That's the scariest of the cards. Now we need one. We need another Black Source. I did put that Swamp to the bottom at the very beginning, but we do need another Black Source for Nicol Bolas. <laughs> they drew it. <laughs> Top deck champion. Oh, it's terrible land. It's not a Black Source. Pass. Pass. Uh, I know I have just really good against my nickel bolus is too. This hey, is hey, oh, black source. This is boot to the horde. Uh, sorry, boot, <laughs> boot to the head. <laughs> boot to the horde. <laughs> boot to the head here on Twitch. Uh, David Jones, oh, another meditate. another streamer. And prepare. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that Narset was was awesome for them. Um, I live in Virginia, and uh, I live in Atlanta, but I'm working in the DC area until July. For you. <laughs> Time for a drink. So Todd said he was doing an MCQ. I was like, eh, I'm, I'm off this weekend. Why not? For gods once, I am one again. You can just connect with Narset that way. Yep, so we'll kill Narset that way so we can draw cards. Um, And, you know, have them use, like, their Contempt or... Dispark. It's not like minusing so that if I minus threed and killed like Narset, then the Soren would be able to kill my Bolas. So I could have like minus threed and killed the Soren, but then I don't get to draw a card with the other one. Kind of glad they're pinched on mana at least. The question is, where do you live? Well, that's what we said, right? <laughs> Joey was asking. Uh, Somebody else, I think. I will return one. I think you just play ran <laughs> They they never you? said if you play somebody with the exact same record or random. Random. I would assume from just like how all the other things work that it's basically playing somebody with a random record. This looks really bad for us here. Yeah, they draw the land and get to play Ugin. So that'll take out the consecrate consume. I will return. Outsmarted you eons ago. No land, no land, no land. Please, no land. 
Just draw like a hero or a thief. <laughs> Something I can cry the Carnarium away. I abhor my need for blood. Does someone have an ult? Or is he one of the ones that have an No. Just I minus X bring back stuff. Okay. Dig for something? Yeah, I don't think Dispersal is going to be good enough. Mm -mm. On the Ugin, because they they'll have this even if they if they draw the six land they have this other random card in hand that they'll, they'll that they'll be able to get rid of. There we go. That's a good one. And I got three black in play. Nice, nice. Get rid of more things. <laughs> All right. Now if this goes unanswered just for a couple turns, we should be in business. To attend to my we had another Soren. The other card. Limits. No land. No land one time. They have nothing to bring back. No, nothing to bring back. Okay then. <laughs> oh yay! What We're doing it. I've made. Hmm. You could, yeah, take up the bolus and uh, if they get rid of the card. Yeah, I was considering contempting Soren first to like make them get rid of that card, but I think they probably are. Let it could have been like a counter spell. Yeah, it was a counter spell. Kevin, that's a good draw. Is there any way to... Um, well, you can bounce that. They get rid of the Soren, But then we still have... You might want to save the Contempt for the Ugin. Probably just play the Kefnut. Alright, no land. <clears throat> As one mana off, I wanted to play... I kind of wanted to Contempt and Dispersal, and that would have just got rid of both things. Mm -hmm. But we were a mana off yeah. for that. Guard Mage is, of course, great, because it draws a card. Ow. The weak that Soren's so loyal. It's out of here. All right, what you got for me, Kefnet? Something good? How about a land? Land? That we're gonna play anyways. Oh, that's a good one. That's great. And goodbye, Ugin. We survived. We did it. Well, they don't. They don't have to get rid of this <laughs> oh, card. They're gonna get rid of the card. No, they could get rid of the guard mage. Nah, why would they do that? I mean, if I'm them, I'm probably getting rid of the guard mage. Nah. Oh, okay. Dang it. I, was okay. I mean, Ugin's still gone. You have no weakness. I we're, cannot explore. We get to campaign twice. Oh. Oh, before he can do that. <laughs> okay, we're on a roll. No, it's not. It's not a thousand player single elimination. No, it's you just. It's a, a Swiss tournament. You didn't want to use the thought eraser. You want to save that for. Because like thought eraser has a guaranteed hit. Yeah, well, camp, so does campaign. Well, I mean, they're gonna have no cards in their hand, so thought eraser doesn't do anything. Right. Uh, now, since we drew the search for Escanta, though, I want to play search. I was just going to campaign. This <clears throat> campaign just also draws a card instead of just... Right. So, I was going to be campaigning there, but um, with finding the search for Escanta, I want that in play. We're going to be 2-0. and uh, Likely. I don't, I don't really know what they can draw here. I love the, the preemptive good game and doesn't scoop. Yeah, the good game and then continue to play. They they know it's over. Because Nickel Bowl's Dragon God just snowballs out of control. What's the ult? Eight? Yeah. Are we going to ult again? My yeah, possibly. Oh my word. Will be paint. My schemes are never ending. Two ults? This is only match two, right? Get more dragons. Oh, don't. You want to ult. Don't let him do... Oh. <laughs> don't do that. I was going to grab their Ugin. <laughs> okay. We need more dragons. We need spear dragons and dragon gods and everything. All the dragons. All right. On to match three. All right. So it seems like we're we're doing good against Esper Hero. Played against Esper Hero twice. Two and O. Oh. Hey, Aaron. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. So Welcome to the channel. I'm gonna get some water. You want some water? Yes, please. Thank you. 
It's our fifth sub of the day and happy year there for Aaron. Thank you so much. All right, I'll take it. Love as Canton too. Cry the Carnarium if it's an aggro deck. All right, so we got a mana creature deck. Hoping they don't have an X3. Hey, Joy with that donation. Win number two. Thanks, Joy. <clears throat> and Striker with that resub here for the second month in a row. I'll oh, bring in the hype. Thank you. Thank y'all very much. Thanks, Joy. And thanks, Striker, for that support. All right, please don't have Nissa here. Please don't have Nissa. No Nissa. No Nissa. Golgari Queen, that's also annoying. Casey Kid with the Twitch, with the uh, tier one sub, sorry. Thanks, Casey Kid. Welcome to the channel. Enjoy all those really cool emotes. Yeah, so this is. It's a, this is a two-day tournament. Day one here is play until you either win eight or lose two, whichever comes first. So while I... This is kind of a tough decision of playing Ravager or Thought Erasure. I think I'm going to just Thought Erasure and... Make sure to take something... Ooh, they did have a Nissa for, like, that last turn. Ooh. Well, so we gotta take, they had a Nissa. Yeah, we got to take the Nissa... I would take another Dragon God. Pass turn, no lands. Sack and a land. As long as we win, nothing else matters. Yeah. I should have made Boot wear a shirt and tie too. Nah. <laughs> um. Yeah, that's more Todd's thing. I, yeah. I like to go the uh, the casual look with like a button up or whatever, but. Just, uh, not today. Spark will be mine. I, I just really like trying to reduce their resources a bunch. Uh, so I'm just going to be taking out Draw on a card. Next turn we can Ritual of Suds. And still take out Draw another card. Yeah. Oh, is this deck? Okay. They need a lot more blue sources for that card. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it is. Yeah, this. I think this battlefield is just. Yeah, I think that's for this event. It's pretty cool. Zero off, boot to the head. Nice to meet Your you. Your efforts are futile. Or my my handle is boot to the head. Yeah, on Twitch. Where's the timer? If, if you highlight these things, so our opponent has 28 minutes, I have 29 minutes. That's where you can... Don't dwell that's where the timer is. I don't really expect it to come into play too much. So now do you just... Yeah, now I'm, I'm making yeah, them discard okay, this exactly. again. Exactly. <laughs> oh, look, it blocks Krasis. Yeah, and it, the even if they find a removal spell for Nicol Bolas and then can kill Nicol Bolas, I still have another Nicol Bolas. Another one. another one. Another one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll see all those people in the stands. That's you, chat. Yeah. You're this in is... the stands watching this. Yep. And thank you for your support, Sacrifices hanging out with us today. From time to time. Yeah. There. Yeah, there's eight matches. You have to win till you play until you win eight or lose two, and yeah, if you win all eight, you'll make day two. The top, they're just gonna do the top 128 players make day two, so you don't actually technically know if you're gonna make day two or not. You just keep ticking up. I mean, nothing really want to destroy or activate. You've got plenty of removal in hand. Yeah, this game's over. I don't want to let them just sacrifice Vraska or that. I don't want them to sacrifice land or card in hand. I will return one day. Let your weakness 
spines crumb. So this deck does, the, huh? Just yeah. squeeze them. The Golgari Queen was about to ultimate also. <laughs> Everybody see me on the random red guy in the upper lower balcony. <laughs> <laughs> You're the, the random red guy? Yeah. Okay. All right, going to game two. This is... <laughs> Joy, you're great. This is a... Admittedly, this could be a tough matchup. Um, you know, we, we had another good start there of, you know, having Dragon God on curve. Uh, you know, with them full of mana creatures and Planeswalkers, this can be tough. Uh, Planeswalkers can just take over. Did someone ask, can anyone play in this event? No, this was for the, the people that finished top thousand in mythic rankings for last month or the month before for limited or constructed. So there's up to four thousand people being in this event if those are all different people. But like those are all the people in the event. So Cynic Ramp, yeah, what do we put in? Duresses? I feel like Duress is taking their, their top end seems pretty good. It is. Um, I'm going to trim one campaign in this matchup. The campaign's not quite as good here as it is against Esper because they have a little bit more card advantage with the Krasis and everything. I just want to trim one. So they're going to have Land of War Elves, uh, the two mana... Yeah, Paradise Druid, Land War Elf. Mm -hmm. I mean, those kill Crisis pretty well. What do you got? 61? Okay. Elder Spell? Yeah, I'm playing Elder Spell. Okay. Because all their Planeswalkers. I want all the Sweepers, though. I want all the Cry of the Carnariums, okay. especially like on the draw. On the play, I'm probably going to take out a Cry of the Carnarium, or maybe even two. I was but going to say, what about uh, on the so draw? They're, they're I, need the, I need to kill the. I need to kill the mana the, creatures. The no, we don't beat mass manipulation. I don't care about that card. Okay. If they have oh. enough mana to cast mass manipulation and they cast it, then we lose. I'm not going to try to beat that card. Yeah, you can't keep this. Why not? It's one land. Yeah, we just need to draw another. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. <laughs> Mostly cast, keeping this because of two cards. I uh, never punish one time. Discovery and Ritual of Soot. But we have good... We have two draws to get in, I guess. Yeah. Okay, well... Okay. I... <laughs> okay, dokie. Yeah, on, on the play, we're not keeping that, but on the draw, we can. Never... Lucky for me. <laughs> yeah, exclamation point deck list is, is where you can find the deck list. Easy. some removal well if they play this other card that's not an Ugin no they're just drop they're gonna they're just gonna activate incubation druid and then play Ugin next turn I can't really stop that okay. elder spell being a sorcery is annoying hmm. so it's basically do I discovery and make sure that we have our fourth land or campaign I'll go gamp campaign because I'm probably even just casting Elder Spell next turn, not even Ritual of Set next turn. So I'm just gonna Elder Spell the Ugin. Well, hopefully we can hit a land and do both. Uh, Discovery and Elder Spell. Yeah. If we don't draw a land, I wonder if I should be greedy enough and cast Discovery first and look for another Black Source for Elder Spell. Probably not. Mm -mm. I am ancient and wise. Heed my advice. Yeah, land, land is definitely Life our best draw. Beyond vision. Uh, if we just had that earlier to kill this 3-5. Yeah. Not getting greedy? I don't know. You know what? It's been working for you so far. This gives you two looks. Has to be a black source. It'd be three three looks because we can get rid of two cards and oh, then right. draw the third. Draw the third. So we have to have a black source in the next three. But if we don't, I mean, I feel like you've used up all your luck just keeping that hand. But 
Yeah, we already have three black sources. Legion war bosses for decks that don't have creatures. It has to be a black land specifically, or else we couldn't do the. Seriously? Come on. Hey, look, the black land specifically. Jeez. Yeah, you you would have got there. That's crazy. Wow, just wow. <clears throat> yeah, but they have five cards now because that crisis. That crisis was awesome. You can also bolus to pick up, right? Yeah, I could. I could bolus pick up. I'm a little worried about like uh, a counter spell here. Whoops! Cancel. Back. I was a little worried about a counter spell. Okay. Well, these campaigns will rip their hand. Yeah. Ooh, no play. I like it. More lands and a thought erasure. Hmm. Perfect. So I can discovery and then thought erasure or just campaign. And I'm going to campaign. campaign. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> oh, nice. Todd. Can't take anything if we don't play anything. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's why camp <laughs> campaign's great against like these mass manipulation decks that they're just trying to like. You know, mass manipulate and you everything. Play the other one first. Yeah, play the other one first and then thought erasure. Yeah. Hopefully, draw another land. There we go. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Don't want this land. So we're gonna play this. We're gonna have three, four, five, six, seven. This would be land number eight, which means I could nickel bolus plus other stuff. Yeah, I'll just keep that. Oh, cause I'm, I'm going to Discovery this turn, aren't I? I think so. Uh, I am Boot to the Head. Nice to meet you. Uh, I am Zeppelin. <clears throat> so basically debating if I want to keep this for Dispersal or cast Discovery. I'm going to cast Discovery. I think I should have ditched this, this Blood Crypt, though. Um, yeah, I should have ditched that the first time. Yeah, I should have just I should have got rid of that. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, that's because I think I think we'll be able to draw lands. Right, I don't so think we need to keep the land. We can't. I, what I do, what I am, something that I would uh, need would be. Um. That's fine. Well, we need a thread, but how do we deal with the fact that we can't instant speed? Oh, we hit a crisis. Nice get their hand because if they draw a manipulation after we play something you know nothing we can do about it <clears throat> yeah I'm basically a little worried about a Nissa I guess But no, you're right. I, I'm not planning on beating like a, a top deck manipulation. Yeah. Well, I mean, we can, we'll still be able to beat it with all the stuff we have. Right now, yeah. I, I just, uh, yeah. how, so, many, how many crises have we gone through? Yeah, Thought Erasure is basically just good at holding at another crisis. Three so far? Yeah. Cool. Oh, there we go. Um, Would you play that out? Or would you just keep ticking up the cold bolt? <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Joy's already confident that this is a win. <laughs> Sends the five dollars for the win. Yeah, I don't think you play out in the cold bolus. You know, get them to use a, a take spell. My intellect is without limit. Like, there's no need, right? You just tick up bolus and win because now they have no threats. That's true.
Well, manipulation can only take one thing. They can't manipulate two things. They would manipulate the bolus um, anyway. Two, three, four, five. Six. Wait, can't they take two things? No, because it costs four oh, to start with, four? and then double X. I thought it was three. Three blue? No, it's four blue. Oh, okay. Never mind, then I counted wrong. Hey, Minty wins. I will return. Uh, when do I board out Weakness campaign against like the the real aggro matchups? Like where like mono red, where the match is too fast. Okay, are we really gonna ult Bolus in the third match now? Technically, if you hadn't have played that other one or flipped the other Bolus, we would have ulted that Bolus. <laughs> yeah. Witness yeah, like ult. Yeah, this is gonna be the third time we would win the game by ultimating Bolus. I came it to be because or win the match. Our first match was won by ultimating Bolus. This the our second, second match would have been won by ultimating Bolus. <laughs> right until he conceded. Same same thing with this one. Yeah, they could draw the manipulation like whenever it has eight though. So I need to keep I'm I'm keeping contempt uh, up, contempt up yeah. just in case. But the ultimate doesn't lose us the game because we would control other legendary right. things. Mm -hmm. But I'm still just gonna keep contempt up. Oh, be a good sport opponent. Let us let us just ult. And I don't have any reason to activate Escanta. We're just so far ahead. Secrets manifest before Here's one more time. you. Is there any other way to plus it? Yeah. You are all so generous. My all right, opponent. Thank you so much. It's a good sport. Well, manipulation now. Now they have the mana. They can take two things. We have Bedevil and Content Mana. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, they didn't let us do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're 3 now. Uh, does it have a good animation? Do you remember seeing it? In no, it didn't. No, it didn't have any. Anim oh, it didn't have any special animation. All right. We're moving on. Thanks, Starbucks. Yeah, we're doing doing good so far, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, we uh, we have gotten we've actually ultimated Bolus one time, mm -hmm. but the other two times we could have, but they they just conceded before. Yeah, that's that's the animation. The opponents had blown up. That's the animation. <laughs> All right, match four. Oh, this is pretty exciting. Yeah, I told you, Ada, let's do this. Yeah, we've. We've been drawn well. That's that's the thing about Grixis. It's like it's not really bad against anything, but it's not great against anything. But it's just if you draw well, you'll you'll do Did fine. You keep another. Oh my God! How are you doing this? We, there's 26 lands in the deck. We're gonna draw. Okay, you we're say gonna draw that. a land out you of the two that. cards. But let's be realistic. <laughs> Why wouldn't you draw a land? Because that just never happens, I guess. Okay. I'm sure it happens, obviously, but it just feels like. Because all we need Never is one. With two discoveries, like, we'll... F all we need was just the one draw step and the discoveries. Finish this out. Um, so, blue-white deck. I probably want campaign. I probably want Nickel Bolas, Dragon God, too. And then doubles. But we need land. Yeah. Also. All right, so I, I draw campaign this turn. Or, like, right now. Next turn, I draw Bolas for turn. And then I campaign. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Uh, let's see. Dimsum says, Todd, I am always unsure. How do I board versus black, green X and command X with Bolus? Mind giving a few tips after the There's no accounting uh, for Do you mind giving a few? Maybe yours will hold. Yeah, it's, it's, those are definitely really tough matchups to board, for sure. Um, basically, if you, if you look at, like, how I was just boarding in that last matchup, that's kind of what, you know, like, that was a Sultai deck that may have been command. I don't know. You you need like enough stuff for like the creatures, and you need stuff for commands. I guess you were asking about like command, not soul tie as much. Oh yeah, the, the BGX. Yeah, that that's we just played against the the black green X deck. Jelly Tug says, "Boots, you just gotta learn to just draw the cards that you want when you want them." How have I been doing it wrong this whole time in the yeah. twenty plus years I've been playing this game? Apparently, I just need to draw the right cards. That's what it is. Oh, I just noticed these banners here. I didn't notice those <laughs> banners there before. I'm 
I'm known for my I'm excellent Ashio time versus command decks in the side. Board. I'd be less frustrated if you had fewer flaws. Are you gonna bounce my command and my campaign? Oh please. There goes nothing. Another. Bounce to nothing. They don't want me to play either and make them discard again. Little did they Tilt. Know. We need to get the black source to be able to, to jam Nickel Bolas this turn. That Dovin's a little annoying. Got to pay more for pay it. Pay more, yep. Alright, there's two lands. I definitely want the black land. Do I want this land? Do I want the sixth land? I mean, with Dovin having to make you pay for everything? Well, next turn I'm playing Nickel Bolas. Really, I like I don't have Planeswalker removal, so it's I I'm considering going and looking for Planeswalker removal because there could be like a Sarka next turn. I mean, obviously the Nickel Bolas is Planeswalker removal, but that that's like all I have. Okay. Um. Hmm. I'm I'm certainly keeping this land. Next turn, do I want to draw Steam Vents? Yeah, I think I do. Yeah, I think you want both those lands, honestly. I should do a reset on Arena after this. We had Arena up for a long time before the stream. It's been up for too long, as you can tell by this lag. I'll protect you. So help remind me uh, not to join the next match. I think it's because you're winning too much. <laughs> so Kasmina says spells that target, not abilities. So Dragon God can still minus and kill any of these. However, there's not really a, a great Planeswalker to kill right now. Could be just guy, just missing the red source. Oh no, Raven, that was so close. Curious. Your defects okay, so. don't seem to bother you. I honestly don't know what I want to do with this. I really don't want them to play Sarkin. The immortal well, Nicole Bolas. Apparently they're saying that uh, it's not end. just guy because they don't play Kazmina or Dovin. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't I think they could still have Sarkin. So you can't actually target them because you can't pay two, right? Or is it just spells? It's just is spells. It spells it's okay. just spells. Look at all these choices we have. Ooh, draw a card, discard a card. Uh, I like taxing the resources. Yeah. Conceivable! My schemes are never ending. Ooh, proliferate. Oof. Yeah, with the Karn's Bastion, this is looking like it's just blue white and the cleansing nova and everything. I've got time. Every day is a new lesson. So this next turn I can either cry the carnarium or ritual so get rid of the two twos. Um, Ditch to negate. Yeah. Hmm. A few things. Yeah, I think my plan is campaign my and cry. Scrutiny. This next I turn. I like campaign. Uh, do you have enough of both? You need a land, right? Yeah, I need a land. I need. I need to hit a land with campaign. Join my order. Now we're we're certainly going to cast cry the carnarium. Hone your control. So you're going to campaign first, try to hit a land. Yeah. You don't draw it. Yep. Land. <laughs> okay, good. So now I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, let's start that. Yeah, let's start with this. So they have less information about what my turn, you know, so when they're discarding, they have less information. Getting rid of another negate. And wipe the board. Nice. And of course, I want to do that before I Correct. tick up. Mm -hmm. That's just good sequencing, folks. So they don't get to sacrifice one of those two twos. Uh, we don't really care about Dovin because it's going to stop taking down eventually. And they're not really doing the anything. Facts I can't be denied. Yeah, and there goes the Dovin. Let I yeah, see, the, the Dovin was going to take down one more time. And then we, that's that. So now they could minus their Teferi and bounce Nicol Bolas, but that gets rid of the Teferi. We and, you know, it gives us back a Nicol Bolas. <laughs> yep. 
They ditched a Narset? They're running out of cards over here. Is this Ugin? It is. Alright, so that we're gonna have to minus and kill. Oh, right, it can just kill Knuckle Bulls. So we'll have to use our other Knuckle Bulls to kill that. I will return one interloper. No, well, actually, you don't. You can just attack with Nicole Bolas, right? They'll bounce. Oh, if they bounce it. Oh, okay. yeah. Well, this works. That's more like it. Need to be worried about spell pierce. Spell pierce. Yeah, that's in best of three. Yeah. No, I mean, is one, this two, three, this game four, one, five, right? Six, seven. Yeah, yeah people. One. Yeah, people play spell pierce main. Really? Wow. The Just Guy decks at least had three spell pierce main. Wow. Okay, that's spicy. Um. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Alright, so I'm just gonna go. Yeah. Yeah, you can just kill the bullet and kill the wizard thing, right? Cool bolas will resonate the throughout yeah. the multiverse. So I am dead. It's just planeswalkers that supposed to be that, that, right? Oh, wait. No, that is targeted creature. Crap. Uh. Crap. I was. Uh, that is creatures also. E annoying <laughs> graveyard <laughs> uh, I need to reset this arena yeah just bend the Ugin tick up yeah I was thinking I was going to Tyrant Scorn that thing yeah that's what I was thinking and then I realized um, it's creatures as well so that that's that's a fail on both our parts we had four well, sets of eyes on that and we, we <laughs> that's all that. good I should be fine here. I don't know how they're dealing with these Ravagers yet. Ravager's gonna get us back. Ugin and Bolas. Oh no, Dirk went 3-2. Oh no! I guess they had enough. Yep. Yep, Nickel Balls the Ravager was going to just flip over to be the Arisen and go grab like a Dragon God or uh, an Elder Spell. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, this is an Elder Spell matchup for sure. And Contempt. A bunch of War Bosses. Uh, a bunch of Duresses. Some negates. Uh, we'll take out cry, cry, yeah. set, set. I don't know if they like make a bunch of like two twos and everything. Maybe I want the cries. I could see that like happening. I don't know how much I actually really like the negates with the little teferis running around. Yeah, that's that's also a fair point. So this is my basically. I mean, we still have some removal. You know, we have. Contempt, Bedevil, Rampage. Um, but no sweepers whatsoever, but then we have war bosses. So it kills the Sarkin token. Well, I don't know if they're actually just guy Debo 420, because we didn't I, see a single red source. I'm not playing main deck duress. We just side worded in the duresses. Oh, we didn't see a red source. Hey, Rev Daddy. Yeah. Like Grixis has been treating us really well today. Negate might just be a dead card. Yeah, if they have Lil Teferi in play, it would be a dead card. But we do have, you know, we have a lot of Planeswalker removal, and we have the Legion War boss that pressures Teferi really well. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... I, mean, I, hate, three lands. I hate how little blue or black sources we have with just the one black source with these. I don't, I don't right. like that, That's but... That's what I'm worried about. But you do have a campaign, and... Oh, a Negate. You know, counter that little Teferi. <laughs> yep. Need more black sources. What's up, Dr. Grindel? That works. That'll play. Yeah, we're just countering whatever they play there. Just draw the black mana. Well, there we go. We're getting there. We need it. How does he do it? Another black source. There we go. Perfect. Three. <laughs> Campaign's been awesome. Yeah, get rid of Teferi. Uh, close. No, I am David, otherwise known as Boot to the Head. War is coming. 
I will. My students are loyal and brilliant. This game. Get rid of more stuff. Them real fast, isn't it? So we made them discard two Teferis with the campaign and Nicol Bolas. But yeah, we've we've curved out perfectly. You know, negate into campaign, matters. into Bolas, into Bolas. Like that's, that's like our perfect curve. Elder spells Let's really slow this Actually, down. now, so the Elder Spell, if you target is much more both of their Planeswalkers, do you have to pay two per? So would that cost you six to cast that Elder Spell? No. Nah, I can't imagine. No, it's just one spell. We Some will meet again. Okay. I'm just curious. We're... We're... We're pretty far behind now here with these mobilized districts and everything, though. I don't have, like, the sweepers. Um, I guess I'm just... Bolas tick up and have them attack Bolas. Okay, there's a blocker. Basically, Take. yep. Yeah, because they tucked that one. So, <clears throat> basically have them... You know, make this as like a gain life card. Thanks, Ice Up Sun. AJ Gomez. <laughs> Alright, so we draw land. What does that do? I have a risk to good ra to good rampage. To. I feel like it has to be the pole, yeah. Are they gonna go all out aggro? Let's see. Uh, nuts. More cards. Oh, I hear that's how you win games. I yep, draw cards. Again. Time planes walk. Oh, okay, so that's one you way to beat no mobilized districts. You, you can't activate exploit. if you don't have one. <laughs> yep, yep, that's the plan. Ah, no attacks. Come on, brick. That's not. That's a. That's a pretty good card because that replaces itself, and that's a good thing just to exile to the Nicobolas. Yeah, that's another good one. Okay, enchantments is one thing that we have trouble with. Yep. Now we're in trouble. And they scry to the top. That was a great turn for them. Yep. That, that reduces the cost of Mobilize District 2. They scry to the top. Oh. Oh. Uh, hmm. That can hit a district, at least. But what else are you doing? So do Getting I want... War balls? Uh, draw with Nicole Bowles first. Yeah, debating minusing and killing a 2-2, honestly. No, we're we're okay. And we hit the land. Is that it that takes two damage? Or what is My revenge will be pain. My intellect is without limit. Alright, so hold on before you play that. Alright, so contempt Yeah, I'm gonna have to replaces the two life, right? So they swing out with the district and both wizards. Don't you want to hit a land with that? It, I would hold on. Yes, to that. the problem the problem is if they have Dovin's veto, then I die. <sighs> I'd, I'd risk it. Sweet. All right then. Do you want to let them attack? It has vigilance, so like if they have to like tap it for mana for some reason, it's good to do it before attackers because if for some reason they'd have like a colorless thing that it's not good to let them attack with vigilance and then be able to tap for mana. Okay. So like if they have to tap for mana, then they don't get to attack with it.
Okay, this is down to the wire. Hmm. Let's not let them exile the card in their hand. Oh, that's a good draw. If you take down on the wizard. All right. Well, you also have rampage, <clears throat> but I think you want to play the the war boss here, don't you? I, I do. I'm gonna play both. I'm gonna play war boss and rampage. Oh yeah, you have the drop catacomb. Okay. I'm gonna make them sacrifice a creature first. Yeah. Okay. I like this. Hey, eventually when we get to the prison realm, we get uh, our bolus back. Yeah, I don't. I don't even think we need to minus three the two two. No, that, I agree. You don't. My Just an idea, but. Are never ending. This is good. We got two blockers, so like even if they have a removal spell, you know, like they have two mana, right? Like mm -hmm. they're basically out of out of mana. Okay. Four -oh. Hooray! GGS. Four ando. Bum, bum, bum. Why would why would casting war boss in second main be an additional blocker? It, it that, wouldn't. Yeah, that doesn't work that way. Uh, war boss only, only triggers during combat. Right. Yeah, restarting client. I think they want you to restart. Yeah. <laughs> Joyve. <laughs> oh man, Joyve! Thank you. Keeping that hype gonna, going. Four, gonna I go guess. Go. <laughs> uh, just so everyone knows, I did call 8-0 before we got started. You did? I did. Okay. I mean, we have video to prove. <laughs> We're halfway there. Whoa. Tag Force with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Tag Force. Hi, Enjoy buddy. all those awesome emotes. We get some hype votes in the chat for Tag Force there. 9-0. Try to call him 9-0. All right, sub number eight on the day. We played against Esper Hero twice, played against Blue White Walkers, and we played against uh, Sultai... Manipulation. Yeah, Sultai Big Mana stuff. <laughs> Big Mana stuff. So yep. they're, they're telling Slip. me Slip. that you apparently used all your luck on thursday no you no i used all my bad luck on thursday i oh, used all your bad luck. yeah i lost oh, like okay. every single match i played with every deck oh i was like wow. i was like oh and 30 or something like that Oof. it was bad <laughs> rough and so he used all the bad luck there and so now we're getting the good luck okay yeah like last time we played this list on thursday we were oh and four and so now we're four and oh <laughs> i see how that works yeah it was ugly Ooh. i bet Only one. one black source. There's two black lands in here. But like these this is just a five the, card hand. Like these yeah, you're these the other these three. other lands don't do anything. So this is just a five card hand cuz these don't even cast cards. So I'm going to ship this. Okay. That'll work. That's better. Now, this is a uh, round 5. Thanks, Matthew. Yeah, so this is yeah we're we're playing day one. Uh, this event we play until we're winning eight or losing two. So we've played four matches so far. We've won them all <clears throat> so far. Looks like we got. Oh no! Please don't be. Yeah, this is probably just another Simic manipulation deck. Please don't be Nexus. Nexus is the deck I really didn't didn't want to face as we talked about earlier. No, don't be Nexus. No. Okay. Yes, yeah, Nexus. I think you will find my yeah, notes. Yeah, a, a big problem. We obviously with this hand we yep. want creatures. Oh no, you called it. Oh, gross. Yikes. So our hand does nothing. Yeah, we can't win that. Bleh. All right, let's bring in negates, duress, war boss. Uh, Contempt Ego, Elder Spell, 
taking out Scorn, Soot, all these cards that were in our hand, Scorn, Soot, <laughs> Cry of the Carnarium, just drew like the yeah, worst, the worst uh, possible cards I could draw. That was, uh, that was not a good opener. No. <laughs> this moment of craving. All right, so I got to cut one more. I'm bad luck. No, Matt, you're good. <laughs> I'm trying to trim a contempt with having Elder Spell. <laughs> you played against the only oh, no. Nexus player in the room. Ah, uh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Rampage doesn't work with Tammy. I should have taken route Rampage. That's a good, good point. Oof. Good point there. It's all right. We'll just have to um, Elder Spell it away first. It... <laughs> that doesn't work because you just Elder Spell the rest of the Planeswalkers. So question is, uh, ever run into a time where you wish you had the fourth Nicol Bolas's? Yeah, for sure. Like whenever you're just kind of flooding out and, and you can't find your, you know, like an, a bolus, so you definitely wish you had four. You get to the late game like that, but it's it's kind of tough to play all four um, with them being legendary and and ex expensive mana-wise and everything. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, our mana sucks, but the rest of the hand is good. Really need to draw a shock land. Um, yeah, we just need to draw a shock land or basic. So that's there's 12 shock lands and three basics, so that's 15. Did you want to lead off with do you, how many basics? You have more swamps, right? For basics. Yeah. So should you lead with the salt Um. Sure. Just in case you drew a, a basic. You need to draw one here because I really need a war boss on three. Mm. Oh, that's really bad. can't beat this yeah it's uh because you have the contempt for the tamio well, i guess it, you also have elder spell for the planeswalkers we don't we don't have mana we can't we can't we have the elder spell right we I don't mean, two can, black mana you can get a black this mana. rampage takes out kefnet that's the only card i can cast in my hand is rampage it didn't even matter What are you thinking? Keeping them conceding. I don't think we can win. Womp. Womp. All right, moving on. Yeah, that, that, that first hand loss. Was, was pretty gross with uh, us having two mana, no double black source. Them hitting the, the reclamation. I wish I would have kept that that first seven of all the you know just the thought erasure. Nicol Bolas would have had a better chance. Yeah, it's it was not not looking good. All right, Sifka is a great player. What do we got going on over here? That's the Jess guy list. Okay. So I yeah. guess I would rather have... So the the options are the two three mana planes walkers. Right. We're going to kill one. So Option is whether to let them impulse or just to draw a random card. And I think I, think I would rather have them draw a random card than impulse. I agree. Another ritual to slit. So we'll be discovering next turn to hit our man, try to hit our land drops, Stan get to Ravager. Who, who is Stan Sifka? Do you know who that is? Yeah, he's one of the best players in the world. Oh, okay then. <laughs> I 
<laughs> That's true. Narsa would turn off Discovery, too. That's true. Always top 50 on that. Oh, wow. That, to be honest with you, this is the first time I've ever heard of that. Well, yeah, you don't, you don't pay attention to the any pro players, but he's... Um, He was in the, the silver. He won the silver showcase, didn't he? I think he won the silver showcase. Oh, Remember wow. that huge? Uh, the yeah, the hearth. Yeah, he was he was a hearth. Yeah, he was a pro magic player and then went to Hearthstone for a while and then oh, okay. came back. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, good for him. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's try this. Did not get the land for the Ravager. And these moment ritual cry. It's kind of the problem with Grixis is if you draw the wrong part of your deck, it's going to be really bad for you. Also, professional banana eater. That's a little bit of trivia for you. It's up, Eyes and F. I mean, Grix is best game two and game three. I guess that makes sense. You know, you take out what you don't need. Right. It's always yay. Mill two spells for us. The big problem though is one of those spells was a bedevil, and the devil would have been a good one to see be able to kill the Jays to keep them from drawing cards. Thanks, Zekums. Technically, we have three dead cards. I think there's... Yep. Oh, no, our Kefnut. Yeah, we're basically on a four-card hand at the beginning of this match because these cards are just all dead. Not the bird, bro. Uh, we lost to Nexus. I wish I was taking the Jace originally. This isn't a fight you can win. Time is much more malleable than people think. You kind of want both of those, don't you? I definitely need the land. We're not going to be drawing the Nickel Bolas because of the Jace. Mm -hmm. They're just, yeah, they're just take it up and get it away. Here right. But I need the land. Correct. Yeah, it's just one deck. Correct. We need to move quickly. We're not beating this though. Let's the draw three this. cards a turn. Jeez. Yeah, With, I, I we can have, see a little bit of the Jeskai deck. We have in zero action. cards in hand against seven. <laughs> Deck is so good. Well, we started 4-0, but we may be going 0-2 here after that. <laughs> if you wish to surrender now, I understand. We'll see. I, I like our chances here after sideboarding, but <laughs> even though I think that we are a favorite to win, I don't think we're a favorite to win two games. Like I think we're a favorite to win each game, but not by a lot. Mm -hmm. And so winning, winning two in a row is tough. We've done a really bad job of drawing all those removal spells that are dead two matches in a row against decks that don't have any creatures. <clears throat> that can happen with Grixis draw the wrong part of the deck. We're doing a good job drawing the right part of the decks earlier. Just trying to make day. Yeah, very possible they side into War Boss, absolutely. We have we still have a good amount of removal in our deck. 
I don't have like a sweeper, but oh well. Yeah, I would say doesn't Esper just run the uh, oh, I shouldn't have re wrath? I mean, I shouldn't have reset arena. We were doing doing good until I reset arena. Is that what it was? Yeah. Oh no. Thanks, Minty Wins. One second, I need to talk to the wife. Okay. Be right back. All right. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> the laggier the game, the better the RNG, proven fact. Thanks, Detsta. Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Sub number nine on the day. All right, would not mind seeing a war boss at all. That one's not bad either. Let's rip apart this hand. Thanks, Colonel. Trust me, you'll thank me later. There goes nothing. Blah. Don't worry, I got this. I guess I probably should have just got rid of War Boss. So yeah, holding holding up the gate of course doesn't do anything. Yeah, to so discard the shock. This might be a bad idea. I'd really like to draw a fifth land. I wanted to draw that land, which is why I was saying maybe I should have got rid of that war boss. Hmm. 
Guild fairies. The mobilized district's gonna be annoying. Enough! For sure. I've got it. Yeah, sure, Teferi makes our negates bad, but as you can tell, we've been just spending our mana every turn. We don't really need the negates right now. <clears throat> Teferis don't give them a lot more advantage. Um, every turn. Ugh. I was really hoping I could play the other campaign as well. Yeah, I like those. Attack, attack. Do you want me to phase you out of time? I'll protect you. Oh, right. I can't instant speed kill the district because it's a fairy. I can't, like, attack Let's with everything and then before down. blockers kill the I kill the fairy. Right. I train and I have just the trick for this. Well, I definitely want to get that big Teferi out of there. Land. All right, we don't get to draw an extra card. But we got the big Teferi out of there. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. So that's worth it. And now little Teferi's out of there, so our negate's turned on again. Uh, all we know is the top the top 128 people um, go to day action. two. Don't know exactly what the record will be for top 128 people. <clears throat> but that's that's what it is. Oh, you're looking good. Yeah, this game yeah, we're looking pretty good in this game. Of course we're you know, we lost that last game. Stacko! Thanks for that sub there, Stacko. That hits a sub goal, so I'll mark that down towards our next sub battle stream. Okay, then. Well, the world is your oyster. Do we just, uh... Yep. Could go bolus, but then we don't have negate anymore. I think where we're at right now, we can just have the war boss this with negate back up. Overwhelming. And we're in a good I mean, spot. Take over the game real quick. Okay. You have to do like full. We have to do full control mode to be able to kill this before blockers. Usually, well, I guess. I guess maybe with that trigger on the stack, we didn't need it. Okay. Game three. Here we go. Faves Belcher. Thanks for that resub there. Six months now. Um, how do we feel about the deck? Pretty good. Yeah, feeling definitely pretty good about it. Uh, even if we lose this four and two, is really not that bad. And like this tough. Uh, tough tournament. That's still two out of three, but you know we can we can still win this and 
and do even better than that. We'll see. Yeah, so now we're going to game three. We'll be on the draw here. Yeah. No, I don't want an ego for Teferi. I mean, how many Teferis do you think he has? Like two? Maybe three? The little Teferi I don't care about. If you're talking about for little Teferi, it's certainly not worth it. But for the big Teferi, the big Teferi and Jace are like the cards that are really worried about how they can draw cards turn after turn after turn. It's like my problem with the first game is not getting rid of the Jace. But yeah, Ego is just card disadvantage. Just not, not what you want at all. Ugh, I don't like thought erasure. Yeah, I don't like the Oh my god. The tap land being my only land. This is the kind of stuff I was keeping earlier though in drawing. Yeah. But we need to draw exactly a blue source. Do you think your luck can hold up? I don't think so. I don't I don't like this. Basically we don't we don't have any like removal. If they just if we don't they just play a planeswalker, we can never kill the planeswalker. Right. We have nothing to like catch up if we get behind. Not this time, huh? No, because yeah, like that's that's the problem with that hand is there's nothing to catch up whenever you get behind. Okay, this is much better. And don't greed. <laughs> Anticipate's always been one of my favorite cards. That it's like I've always thought it's like a really underrated card. I've always liked Anticipate. That's kind of cool. Our opponents play Anticipate. Now it's time to get on the campaign trail. <laughs> Start campaign. Yep. I uh, I don't I don't know about the London Mulligan rule. I mean, there's no indications right now that it's that it's coming to, to arena. My prowess, hone your prowess. It's definitely the annoying one that we don't get to draw an extra card off campaign. Yeah, I was gonna say at least you can duress. And do that. Well, the other black source is perfect, so I can Elder Spell also. Two vetoes and an opt. My mind needs a rest. My students are loyal geniuses. That's good. We get to resolve Nicol Bolas. Always okay with that. That Max back. <laughs> Can we beat a couple of tutus, though? Not if we get our own, uh, well, actually, the other tiny. What would you? What would, how would you distinguish between the two? Big and little. Uh, God versus Arisen. These mobilized districts are actually really nice. Mm -hmm. These mobilized districts are really, really nice. will resonate throughout the multiverse. <laughs> I am omnipotent.
<clears throat> Hone your control. This is close. I don't. I don't like where we're at. We're definitely behind. Yeah, like we're we're definitely behind. Uh, I think Nicole Bolas would be a good draw here, honestly. Yeah, the, the Ravager. The Ravager. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Kefnet would be nice. By playing the Nicol Bolas here, I am kind of making our opponent activate the district. Oh, no, they just drew it to Barry. Oh, Never mind. That's really good. Should be... Oh, they I tucking. know my responsibility. Yep. Not so fast. That's a good one. Conceivable. Ooh, campaign, I guess. It's a good dispersal and get rid of Teferi and make them discard. Why well, they just play it again, wouldn't they? Yeah. Have a whole lot more loyalty. We're in trouble. Mm-hmm. Did those do anything? The land definitely doesn't. Um, I can't war boss plus dispersal. A little short on that. Okay. Uh, if we draw a land, we can war boss and contempt. Oh no, because gets Mina. Yeah. You know what? I'm not done yet. Are we going to have to take a turn off to contempt that Teferi? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we basically... It's going to be really hard for us to beat this battlefield, so if he's got just anything over here, it's going to be even harder for us. If you show remorse, All right, Jeff, thank I'll you. Show restraint. Yeah, there's no Elder Spells in my deck right now. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Okay, good. So land for both. That's what we needed. So now now we need a land. We need them to tap out districts so that my Legion War Boss can kill the Casmina. Land? Alright. Oh wait, but they're not tapped out. Crap, to fairy untapping. No, so they still have district up. Hmm. So if we take it one more turn off, um, can they activate both districts? Can they activate both districts? That should be yeah. Walker? Yeah. Yeah, they each cost two to activate. Yeah, no, we're, we're dead. So that's three, six, eight. Those ten. districts were awesome. Three-color deck with districts. It's pretty nice. Yep. GG's. Focus, meditate. Yeah, Kismino is the problem. Hey, Sloth, what's up? All right, and that's Teferi. GG's. All right, so we went 4-2 and two in our Mythic Championship qualifier. Does not look like we are going to qualify for no, day two. I am not making this up at 4 and 2. Man, that deck is pretty good. Uh, who? I believe it was... Uh, Van Saeed? Is it Sayed or Saeed? That I, I saw know. playing it, what, last weekend? Yeah. And it looked really strong then. Ugh. Got us. Teferi, still good. Still good. Uh, what is this thing? Yeah, I'll say, what is that? That looks cool. 
I don't know. Whatever yeah, this is, it's just that? that I don't. Nothing. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I wonder if that's a token for something. GGS. Nothing. Nothing wrong with four and two, in this tough uh, meta game. It's a card sleeve. Oh, okay. So it's a card sleeve. Oh, okay. That... So we could have, instead of like this Nicol Bolas sleeve, we could oh, use the Mythic qualifier that we qualified in the third season or whatever. Oh, neat. Cool. Cool. Well, there we go. Um, yeah, not not bad. Not bad at all. Um, Started off real strong. Yeah, started off strong. We ran into Nexus and had some really bad hands against Nexus, unfortunately. And that that you know we just didn't we didn't play a competitive Wait, you're me game at all there. And a cry canary in the opener against Reclamation <laughs> was bad. Thanks, Night's Watch. <laughs> yeah, so we we didn't have a competitive match there, unfortunately. So you know the other the other all the other ones where we got to actually play, we were four and one. So that's that's pretty good there. Um, but yeah, the deck felt pretty good. Uh, maybe. I don't know. It's yeah, like that that Jeskai matchup. I don't I don't hate where we're at in that Jeskai matchup. Just game one, I I just drew the, definitely like the wrong cards. You know, we have we have like five cards. Well, really, then to the God Eternals kind of too. But we have like some cards that are like pretty dead, and we just drew those cards that were really dead. Game one, and we won game two and lost game three. And both game two and game three were like pretty much the person on the play snowballing it. And you know, we were on the play game two and snowballed it, and then our opponent was on the game the play game three and snowball that so going forward would you tune this deck to fight the jeskai walker deck such as would you take out like say one enter the god eternals for something else no to help shore that matchup game one no no you you need this stuff for for aggro you need you need to have otherwise like mono mono red and mono white will beat you if you're not playing moment of craving cry the carnarium rituals so enter the god eternals all these these things okay the only thing we could do is have it, a, you know, a second Elder Spell in the sideboard. I, I've played two Elder Spell for a while, but recently because of the Dread Horde deck, I took out one Elder Spell for the Unmoored Ego. Could take out the second Negate for a second Elder Spell. That's something that you could do because of, like, Little Teferi. Like, the Negates are honestly not that great. That does make you even worse than Nexus, but that's something we could do. But honestly, like I said, like, I don't... It's just kind of... You just hope your draws line up. I don't think that... I don't think that's a terrible matchup for us, considering, you know, like, we beat, like, the other blue-white decks... You know, we just the cards didn't line up for us though. That's the thing about Grixis is you kind of need your cards to to line up for you, and they didn't. They did earlier, you know, in those they, matches they, we they were sure winning, <laughs> and then they didn't in that one that we uh, lost. You yeah. know, it, that's the kind of thing. Yeah, I've I've played Ugin in this deck quite a bit. I, I took out Ugin after the last time we played it for another end to the God Eternals in the main deck because Ugin is just is pretty slow at six mana. It doesn't doesn't do a very good job of stabilizing a battlefield when you're behind. And with this Grixis deck, you're you're going to be behind quite a bit. Whenever the whenever it's board parity, and you have six mana, and you draw an Ugin, obviously the card's amazing, and you win the game because it's it's very powerful. But that's just not the majority of games. The majority of games, you're either like trying to hit your land drops that you can't, and then you, this Ugin is just a dead card in your hand. Or um, by the time you do get to six mana, you're like behind by quite a bit, and like making a two two or having just a removal spell at six mana uh isn't gonna help you stabilize enough um the the best decks to use on more ego against are nexus of fate um command the dread horde and arc light phoenix i don't play it against anything else besides those three decks and like the basically those three cards uh against nexus of fate you can also name if it's early if you get to play it on turn three before wilderness reclamations naming reclamation to keep them from Having that is a is a good option also. <clears throat> All right, so that's that's it for the Mythic uh, Championship qualifier for today here with Grixis Control. If you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you had a good time going through the tournament with us. And of course, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Uh, but that's it for Grixis Control here. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, for Boot to the Head here, I'm Todd Stevens, and we'll see. You